Toy Day is right around the corner in Animal Crossing. And in fact, it's actually tomorrow. Oh my gosh. So I have to rush and do something super cool for my island to celebrate the Toy Day Animal Crossing event that Nintendo is putting for all of us. And I'm very excited to transform this big brick of land that I've done nothing with my whole entire time on my island. I've made this massive platform in the entrance of my island and I've done absolutely nothing with it except for it getting cluttered with random QR patterns that I've downloaded. So today we are kicking off the patterns and we are transforming this really nice big platform into one of the biggest toy stores you've ever seen in your whole entire life. You know, whether you want Legos or, you know, an action figure of Princess Leia, it's going to have it all, folks. It's going to have it all. So Throughout this video, I'm going to do a tutorial step by step on how I made this really cool toy store. Trust me, it looks really cool at the end of the day. And at the end of the video, I'll be sharing my dream address that you can come to my island and check for yourself. Feel free to copy anything I do. I don't mind at all. In fact, I'd love for you to copy it and send me pictures of your creations. And, uh, you know, you can email it to me. You can send it to me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want. I'd love to see your creations for this really cool store I'm making. Now, originally, I asked all my subscribers what do you want me to make next after Walmart and Taco Bell and the number one request by far was a toy store and at first I was like eh, I don't know that sounds a little kiddie my videos aren't made for kids they're made for everyone they're made for anyone who likes Animal Crossing but then I realized first of all toys are for everyone I still love toys I love getting my amiibos and action figures and plushies of of video games and stuff I really like and number two I'm really 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 excited for the event that's called toy day and the, the toy store makes perfect sense for the toy day event so it just makes a lot of sense to make a toy store next so it's time to make a toy store of course, I am going to put down this dark wood flooring. If you know me, you know me well. I love this dark wood flooring. And later in the video, this dark wood flooring will actually get a pattern on top of it that will make it look even cooler and add texture to it. And that's something that I've never done to this dark wood flooring before. So I've done a lot of things in this video design-wise I've never done before. So I'm excited to play around with a lot of physics. Uh, you will need terraforming to make this, what I'm making right now, because I will be obviously putting down patterns, but I also will be messing around with actually terraforming walls and adding cliffs to this platform to make it a lot more dynamic and add layers to it, so stay tuned for that. But right now I'm just adding a bunch of this dark wood flooring because I think it looks really nice, especially in the winter. I don't know, I just really like more dark colors in the winter. I'm really sad in the winter, so I just, you know, like to bring out the sadness into my designs. No, I just think it looks really sleek and really nice, and it just reminds me of a nice wood fire. And I, who doesn't love a good, nice wood fire during Christmas time? During my designing of this little uh, toy store, all of a sudden, all my villagers came together in like a Christmas miracle. I mean, they're like singing Christmas tunes. They're belting all I want for Christmas is you. They're, you know, they're doing everything they can to bring out that Christmas spirit. And this year I'm being very, very, very sad during the Christmas time. It's really the least Christmassy Christmas I've ever had because of everything that's going on. So it's nice my Animal Crossing villagers are still having a good time and it's making me feel much better. Um, Animal Crossing, all the Christmas events and winter events really does make it feel very more Christmassy, much more than it was before I played Animal Crossing. So it's getting me in the Christmas mood, which is nice. So I'm now building these cliffs that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to speed it up because you don't want me to go in regular speed of me building cliffs. This video will be like an hour long if I did it. It took me about four hours to make all of this when it was all said and done, but like I said, I'm slow as a turtle. Maybe I'm even slower than a turtle when it comes to building Animal Crossing. Hopefully you'll be a lot faster than me because it took about four hours to make this when it was all said and done. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually building a rock wall to really build out the skeleton of this building. Anytime I make buildings or stores in Animal Crossing, I always start by building the skeleton first, building the walls, building the floors, all of that because once you finish that, it's easy from then on. You can just add patterns and items wherever you want. And it becomes a lot easier. So what I'm doing is, as you can see, this is the entrance of my island. So I want to make sure people can still enter my island without being interfered by this toy store. So I'm making a really nice nook and cranny here where you can enter the toy store from the entrance, but you can still walk through the entrance without being barricaded by walls of brick and stone and rock and all of that. 
which is very exciting, but you're probably wondering, what's the second room you're making for? Why not just have one big room for the toy store? Well, I want to add an extra room to give it more uh, variety of what can happen in this toy store. The second room will be like more for entertainment. You'll see later I'll add lots of cool musical equipment to really have an entertainment room uh, next to all of the items that people can buy and sell in the toy store itself. So now you see that there's nice walls being built everywhere. The toy store has lots of texture and variety and layers and here is now the back wall of the second room that I made and uh, I'm of course going to add my dark wood flooring to it in a second. Duh! I mean come on now. You know me. I, I love this flooring so much. And I know it looks really messy right now. It's gonna look messy. Anytime you make a really big ambitious project in your Animal Crossing Island, it's gonna look very unfinished. It's gonna be like Cyberpunk 2077 but eventually after some patches and some fixing up eventually you'll have a finished product and that's great so <laughs> no shade intended but you know if you've seen the game if you know you know but let's continue building I have of course got to extend the dark wood flooring to every part of my island I think by the end of this video my whole entire island will have dark wood flooring in it w wouldn't that be interesting if you made your whole entire island dark wood flooring it would make your island look like one big room like you could make your whole island look like one building with a bunch of different rooms if you made it all dark wood flooring. Just an idea, maybe that's something I'll have to do one day. Well, now we're on to the next step, and if you've ever watched my videos before or watched my live streams, you'll know that my island is infested with plants. I have so many flowers, it's disgusting. So throughout this video, you'll see me take out a bunch of those plants. We now have Pom Pom who's investigating the area. It's not done yet, so I don't want her to look. I'm like, close your eyes, Pom Pom. Look the other way. I'm not done. She's like, I lost my voice. I was trying to be a metal, a heavy metal singer. I would pay so many bells to see Pom Pom just belt and scream in heavy metal. Oh, that would be great. Anyways, we're now at my favorite location on the island, uh, the Able Sisters portal here. If you want to download any of the patterns, you can slow down the video and check out all of the codes that I use from all these amazing artists. And I'm going to use those patterns for my flooring in just a little bit. Now, I of course, if you're making a Christmassy building on your island you have to dress up in some type of holiday gear whether you celebrate Christmas or any other holiday in the in the winter December season I feel like you need to go get yourself some kind of festive outfit while you build it. it really makes it feel 10 times better so no matter what holiday you you celebrate go get something festive that you'll like and uh you know have some fun with it I like dressing up as you know different holidays for Animal Crossing Halloween was my favorite but Christmas is a, is a very close second as you saw I dug up a bunch of plants uh, that look really nice they're these um, white roses and purple roses and usually I just throw away the plants but instead of throwing them away I thought huh I'll just put them above my toy store my toy store kind of has this purplish maroon you know it really fits that the vibe and the color scheme of this toy store so I put some flowers on there it looks nice Eric's now checking out the premises as well he's talking about how he loves long walks they keep your feet entertained and then oh my god this is the first time this has ever happened to my island I am like scratching my head as I'm watching this right now it's like disgusting and I thought the plant infestation was bad. Little did I know I had an ant infestation. I'm now seeing a conversation between Eric and Mathilda, and I loved it. Take a listen. It was so funny. <laughs> I think my favorite personalities to talk to each other are the lazy villagers and the snooty villagers. They always have the best conversations talking about the most wild things and the snooty villagers are like us, like they're from reality, while the lazy villagers are like Looney Tune characters or something. They are like out of this world. I finally threw away the spoiled turnips because I just could not watch the ants infest my island anymore and I thought you know what I'm gonna add a little bit more to my toy store here I have a lot of things that I want to make like put into this toy store there's a lot of items I want to add so I thought let's add a little bit more space to put out my tables and shelves to put all my items on and I sure did that so you know the, you never can be too big in Animal Crossing you know I love going all out with all of my Animal Crossing buildings that I make 
So I added a really, really, really cool item to this second room. So this is what I was visualizing. I was visualizing kind of like a dance floor, hangout room in the middle of the toy store with a jukebox and some microphones for karaoke. And I think it looks really cool. And I have really nice lights showing. And then eventually I added the microphone and a guitar. And we can have performances from the villagers or anyone else who wants to perform and it's like an own little karaoke room i'm now adding a bunch of items to my toy store what's a toy store without any items on the shelves so i decided to add a bunch of that stuff so sherry's talking about how she's eating a big bowl of ice cream and we're halfway through the month i'm like halfway through the month is the 23rd <laughs> we're like two thirds we're like three fourths through the month sherry maybe maybe someone should buy sherry a calendar for toy day because she doesn't have no clue what day it is okay so i really did not like this wall anymore i felt like it was just kind of blocking things for no reason so i decided to tear it down and i add more items i added a sea globe i added some puzzles it looks really cool you know i actually had actual toys to put on display i also put up this really cool stall with Christmas tree patterns on it. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. I love it. And I then decided to put a very infamous item, an Easter day bunny day egg. Ha 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 ha. I know a lot of people hate bunny day, but you know, it's always fun to have souvenirs. And now it's for sale because I have way too many of these eggs and nothing to do with it. So here you go. It's on the toy day display now. I then put up a elephant watering tin can and then also a little gnome very nice and then patrick star makes an appearance with a tiger uh antique item as well so very cool items just put it on display a little random i feel like this little house this toy house is very fitting for toy day i gotta say i don't really like nighttime in animal crossing with all the other seasons but in winter, I really like nighttime in Animal Crossing when it snows and there's the lights from the Christmas trees. Um, it, you know, it's really cool. I really like it. And then added a little swimming pool. You, someone can buy that. A sleigh. That's very seasonal right now. People are looking for sleighs. There you go. Come to my island. I got a sleigh. I don't really know who's going to buy a UFO at a toy store, but if, I don't know if anyone's even expecting a UFO at a toy store, but there it is. Also, if you wanted that Christmas tree pattern from earlier for your island, the code is on my last video when I decorated someone's house. I won't spoil who because it spoils the video. But anyways, I'm adding a bunch of patterns now, and it's looking a lot more Christmassy. It definitely lacks some nice Christmas patterns, and anyone who doesn't use patterns from the portal, what are you doing? Patterns always make whatever you're making feel so much more personalized and so much more unique because they're not from Animal Crossing, they're from actual Animal Crossing designers and players of the game. So it makes it feel a lot more custom made and really cool and unique to whatever building you're making. And I just think these look really cool. I love the string lights. Those look amazing. It really gave it a really festive moment. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier in the video where the dark wood flooring, you can actually add this Christmassy ornament colored pattern on top of it but the dark wood flooring keeps its texture and you actually can see the lines of the flooring deep into the pattern and then when you walk across the pattern it still has the same texture and animation when you walk across uh, you know dark wood flooring and the same sound effects too it's really cool really cool detail that animal crossing did you can see the lines perfectly right now uh, very cool and they added the jukebox back and all of the colors and all of the musical equipment it just looks so much fun i'm happy you added the second room because you know it's very festive and fun you know people love seeing karaoke in the winter time now we're going to do a quick little walkthrough, a final little tour of what I made here. You know, I think it looks nice. You know, maybe you can make it even better. I'd love for you to improve on what I did and share in the comment section or, you know, send me a video, post a YouTube video about it and tag me, whatever you want. I'd love to see your creations, but I really like what I made here. It's really fun and I'm really happy it's on the entrance of my island. So right when people enter my island, they'll be greeted with this really cool holiday Christmassy type of store. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to come to my island via the dream address, so I won't be there, but if you want to come check out my island via the dream code, you can come to my island and you can observe my island with the code right in front of you. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for daily Animal Crossing videos and keep commenting down below what you want me to make next. I love all of your ideas and I write them down. Among Us and Toy Day was your biggest recommendations and I'm so excited to finally do all of those. So I'm so excited to see what you want me to do next. I think Target, Starbucks, GameStop, and a few other games like Minecraft and Splatoon will be coming soon. With, with that said, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, whatever holidays you celebrate right now. Hope you have a great relaxing time. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, and thank you to all my members who have been members. <laughs> Thanks.